Hello guys, Vivek here. Welcome back to my channel. And today in this video, I am going to talk about working of a commutator. A commutator is a device which uh, uh, is basically used in a DC generator. As you know, in a DC generator, what happens? The internal EMF that is generated by the DC generator is actually alternating in nature. Okay, it's like this. So a commutator is connected in which uh, what it does is that it converts this alternating current into direct current because from a DC generator we want a DC waveform to come out. So it will convert the AC to DC. Okay. It's a kind of mechanical rectifier. So in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how this uh, commutator works and how it uh, actually changes this AC generated EMF to DC. And this video is also available in Hindi. So if you want to watch this video in Hindi, if you want to watch this video in Hindi, then it's a link in the description. You can watch this video in Hindi. Video ko hindi bhasha mein bhi dekh sakte so let's just get started. Now, this is a general picture of a DC uh, generator, you can say. These are the armature conductors. Okay, the armature conductors that are connected uh, all around. And these are the armature conductor bars, this one. Okay and this is the brush okay now before going ahead we will be taking few of the assumptions let us see what uh, the first assumption is that the armature is rotating in clockwise direction and thus the armature conductors are moving from left to right so if you consider a, a let's say a DC generator so we will be considering here that the DC generator is rotating in clockwise direction okay so if you linearize this means it is it is in a rotatory motion so if you linearize this you will be finding that this is in going in this direction okay from left to right so we'll be considering that these conductors are going from left to right which means as the brush remains fixed we will be seeing that the brush is shifting from right to left okay it will appear like the brush is shifting from right to left but in actual sense what I, what is happening over there is that the armature conductors are rotating in clockwise direction and hence the armature conductors are going from left to right direction okay so we'll be considering this here the second assumption is that the length of the brush of is equal to the length of armature conductor bars so this is the brush that we are seeing in the red color so the length of this brush is exactly equal to the length of the conductor bars that is this one okay now insulation between two conductor bars is negligible this is the third assumption that the insulation in between the two conductor bars like this one and this one is negligible okay that is there is almost zero insulation in between them now let me erase this all now let us talk about an instant when the brush is connected to the armature conductor bar A and these are the armature conductors given uh, numbering like 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So as it is connected over here, now some uh, from the brush what we do from brush we connect some load. Okay. Some load is connected like RL. So some load is connected over here. Now the brush is there. So an EMF is generated within the conductors okay which is alternating in nature so the what does the commutator do let's see what happens some current is uh, will be flowing like the i current is will be flowing through the brush because load is connected to this position okay so from the the current i will be flowing through this path from conductor 1 to the conductor bar a through the brush okay and the same thing will happen with conductor 2 because as the EMF generated is equal so the current will also be equal so the same current I will be flowing through here through the conductor bar A and through the brush okay why this will be flowing through A not through B, C or any other conductor bar simply because brush is connected over here load is connected over here and all other conductor bars that are here even though the EMF is generated in all of these coils but there is no short circuit path or there is no kind of closed path for the current to flow hence there will be no current flowing through any of these sections okay so the only current that will be flowing through this path so the current i is in this direction and the current i from the coil 2 is in this direction so the total current that will be going through the brush will be i plus i that is 2i so the load will be carrying 2i amount of current in the first case now let us talk about the second case now this brush has shifted from a to 
certain uh, part of B. Okay, so the brush has certainly shifted towards the left side as we as we assume that the uh, machine is rotating in clockwise direction so in actual sense the machine has shifted the conductors have been shifted in this direction but it appears like the brush has shifted okay so the brush has shifted in the left direction so what happens the current i flows through here and a part of current goes through the brush from a and a part of current goes through this one okay so it's like a parallel connection so a part of current that is let's say i minus k amount of current is flowing over through this uh, brush from one and the k rest k amount of uh, current that is there is going in this direction from coil 2 to this direction okay so the k part is coming over here and as this has contacted with bar b so uh, a current i will also be coming from the coil 3 so this i current is also coming and this is k amount of current and from 1 we are getting i minus k so here it is coming again k amount of current and here i so i minus k plus i plus k amount of current that is the total current that is coming through the brush eventually what will happen this k and this k will be cancelling out and what we will be getting is 2i amount of current okay so previously we had also got 2i amount of current and again in this case we found that after a certain shift of the brush we are again getting the 2i amount of current only now the brush has again shifted a bit and now it is in between b and a at this instant of time what we are seeing is that a current total current i that is there is flowing through here okay and from b we are seeing that a current i is coming and it is also coming through here so we, the brush is getting current i from conductor bar a as well as the same current from conductor bar b the interesting point is that in this instant of time there will be no current flowing through bar 2 okay uh, sorry through the conductor 2 there will be no current flowing because it is now in the reversal case okay the uh, let's see the first case only let's see the current in bar 2 in the conductor one, uh, 2 is like uh, at the maximum point okay at at this moment in the second case the current has reversed you can see the there is a certain reversal why because as this is ac emf that is generated within the internal uh, circuitry so now the current direction also is changing it is now like this okay now in the third case what is happening in the conductor 2 the current has actually touched the zero point that's why there is no current flowing through the conductor 2 okay now at this instant of time only conductor 3 and conductor 1 is supplying i and i amount of current so the total current is 2i now the brush has completely shifted towards b at this instant you can say in the conductor 2 what is happening this was the initial case now the current has reached its negative maximum so you can see that the current has completely reversed to i okay this is the maximum current so the the maximum reversal has occurred in the first case this was the maximum current but the direction was in like in this direction and now it is in opposite direction in the force so you can see that there is a reversal of current and now it has the the brush uh, is in contact with the conductor bar b so as it is in contact of conductor bar b there will be no current flowing through one because there is no uh, current connection uh, uh, from part a so only the brush is connected to b and hence from conductor 2 there is a reversal of ma uh, reverse maximum current that is i and the natural current uh, i from conductor b conductor 3 so there is a total i plus i that is 2i amount of current now what is interesting you see we saw the first case uh, when the conductor uh, when the brush was in contact with a we got 2i amount of current and when it shifted towards left as with a certain part we again got 2i amount of current then in the third case we saw that it is in between the conductor bar a and b and we again got the 2i amount of current and when it is in contact with completely uh, with b we are again getting 2i amount of current so in all of the cases we saw that the current that is there it is only 2i amount of current okay so this is 
this shows that the current is like DC okay we are getting a 2i amount of current always even though the internal generated EMF as well as the internal generated current is alternating in nature but what we are getting is that we are getting 2i amount of constant current okay and you can uh, obviously say from here that this process will go on to continuation like this is a with uh, connect connected with B now if we take this conductor bar C so again it will shift a bit then it will be in between B and C and then it will be in contact with C so it will always be giving us 2i amount of current no matter what is the EMF generated within the machine in this way the commutator works actually uh, the, in actual sense in in uh, practical sense however we will be not getting this exact uh, waveform we will be getting uh, uh, something like this we'll, okay something like this kind of uh, emf we will be getting we some this kind of waveform we will be getting of current and voltage okay we are taking assumptions here but but in practical sense there will be some losses as well as there will be uh, some uh, you can say uh, so there will be some vibrations or some frequency that will be there in this DC waveform but this is how this uh, uh, mechanical uh, rectifier or you can say the commutator works okay now another thing to discuss over here is that here you can see there is an interesting thing what happens that when a brush is short circuiting any of the conductor there will be no current flowing through that conductor that means in this uh, uh, figure we can see that the conductor 2 has been shorted by this brush because it is in contact with B and A and there is no current flowing through 2 ok so when brush is connected to any of the conductor that is it is short circuiting any conductor there will be no current flowing through that conductor and after it has shifted you can obviously conclude from here that there will be a reversal in the current direction ok however we can see that there has been a complete reversal like i in practical sense it is impossible why because let's say the i amount of current was flowing through the conductor 2 okay i amount of current was flowing through the conductor 2 initially and now there is a reversal in the current that is it has connected it has been now equal to minus i so how much is the change of current we can calculate from here so i minus minus i this is the change of current so there is a total of total 2i amount of current change okay there is a 2i amount of current change change and if we consider that the short circuit time period of the conductor 2 is tc okay if we consider this as tc so there will be a reactance voltage okay that is e equals to minus di dt l di dt so if this is the inductance of the coil that is the armature conductors so change in current is 2i upon change in time that is tc so this is a back emf that will be generated and because of the this back emf it will be impossible for the conductor to regain the total i amount of current because this uh, will this will cause an impedance in the coil okay and hence if total am i amount of current is coming from here there will be no total i amount of current coming through here and hence there will be a sparking that will be generated at the brush terminal and that is why uh, we uh, use uh, different commutation techniques for improving the commutation so that we can get a sparkless commutation okay so that's all about working of a commutator so this is uh, how a DC motor looks like uh, you can see these are the commutator section this is the commutator section okay and these are the brushes and it is rotating in a certain direction okay so this is how a commutator looks like this one okay so that's all about commutation in DC machine okay so thanks for watching if you have liked this video please subscribe and uh, also press the bell icon and if you have any question on or if you have any suggestion kindly put that in the comment section below I will be happy to help you and uh, do not forget to subscribe to my channel so this is Vivek Chauve signing off thank you